Okay guys, so we're moving on to chapter 2 now, and as I explained before, you can obviously use your skill points that you've got throughout the game to buy uh, buy new skill settings and, and equip them. So you see top right hand corner we've got 9,900 skill points, and we have a, a range of sort of skills that we can unlock at the moment, depending on the style, the way you play the game. So, on this instance, I'm going to go with Silver Lock. Go on lock on level one, which steadies hand when shooting, which basically just means you're more accurate, less recoil. I'm presuming we've got a trophy there as well. Defense level one slightly reduces damage received, so when you do get attacked by zombies, unfortunately, you'll take less damage. And we're going to go with critical hit level one as well, slightly increases the chance of scoring a critical hit, which uh, which is ideal. Now, once we purchase these, all we need to do is equip them. You see on the left hand side, you start off with three slots, and presumably later on, you do unlock more so you can have more skill sets. But you literally just need to press square on each one of them slots, and that will equip. That will equip the skill set. So here we go onwards to number two. Okay, so mostly chapter two, you are in search of the cathedral. Um, Helena speaks his cathedral quite a lot, and that's where we're going to try and head. He clearly had the same driving instructor as Leon. For whatever reason, he's completely spun the bus out and put us in a vulnerable position. So, nice going, guy. All you need to do there, without hesitating like I did, is reload your pistol, start firing at the zombies. If you try not to let them hit you. How these two survive here, I have no idea.
that tip there pretty much goes back to what I was saying earlier about obviously shooting in the arm it'll swing them round so you can perform a special attack on the on on the back of them it's a lot easier to take them down that way Okay, now what you need to watch out for around here is um, zombies basically rising from the grave. You see there we've got one shell, so I'm going to go with that for the time being. But there's uh, there's pits, there's tombs, um, literally just graves where the zombies will jump out of. So I should have got him there to be fair. These ones uh, aren't too hard to take down, they're just a little bit faster. Um, basically because they're already they're already dead they've just rose from the dead they're not too bad to kill you can see them in dire straits already so the shotgun makes short work of them when you hit them just a lot of the time they come in droves and you just need to take them down as quickly as possible reload wherever you can um, if you play like I play literally every couple of shots I'm constantly reloading because you don't know what's going to sort of come up next so there you go that's him dead that's like what three or four shots there compared to a normal zombie certain parts around here as well you'll find items in the pits as well as as well as more zombies but there will be certain items in, in parts So you're literally just following the, the marker, the waypoint to get to your objective, which is uh, ultimately the cathedral. You just have to watch out for these guys because they will come, like you said, the lightning struck there, they just came out of the darkness. The other thing that you need to watch out for later is dogs. Um, unfortunately, we come across zombie dogs again, so and they do take a lot more uh, taking down than these guys. So just watch out for them as well. As you can see, these guys aren't too bad. You can take them down fairly quick. Just when they come in a, in a big amount, it's, uh, it's a little bit more difficult. Keep th forgetting as well, I don't know if uh, you guys have had the same problem, but I've got still got a first aid spray. And I keep forgetting to use it throughout the game. Like My health is extremely minimal there. I've got a first aid spray in my inventory. I realise now afterwards. But um, yeah, just bear, bear that in mind, guys. There's not only just the herbs that you obviously convert it, convert it into tablet form. There's first aid spray to take as well. So just uh, a point of the of the mistake that I made, and I hope you guys don't make the same one. You see there up ahead you need to watch out for the guys in the darkness because you're in a grave a graveyard obviously there's not much light there's these random sort of lamppost place about but they don't really help you 
just be very very wary because a couple of times the uh, they caught up on me there see in that instance there where he's jumped at me I'm pretty sure I got two or three shots into him that should have took him down but I think in that instance where they're coming towards you there's not a great deal you can do um, if they have got the rain right and distance then uh, they will jump on you it's, there's, there's no no sort of void in it unfortunately There we go, as I was explaining before, um, the dogs are back on this one, unfortunately. Take them out the best you can. So, so wish I'd remembered I've got that first aid spray, because look at the state of me on here. I even keep looking in my inventory and I still don't notice it. It's horrendous on my part. Either that, I just want a, just want a better challenge, you know? So we'll go up to this gate, but unfortunately it is locked. So we'll go back to the house we've just been past there. Oh, hang on, I've realised now. Oh, yeah, I've got a first aid spray. I finally come to my senses. And there we go, full health. <laughs> Okay, so you don't really want to be um, using any of the green herbs until I say that and then I change it. But basically later on when you find a red and a green herb, it's better to mix them together because it gives you more health replenishment. Um, I should have waited there instead of just mixing the, mixing the green straight away. So just for future reference, the green and red ones will give you obviously a lot, a lot better replenishment. There's an incendiary grenade on the side there. And I think that that's about all there is in this room so far. Okay, so basically you're looking for a key for that gate, yeah? Um, the dog's got in his mouth, <laughs> pretty much. The dogs just ran off there with the key, so you're gonna have to chase after him. Okay, so all you need to do, you just need to follow the waypoint, obviously to where the dog is. A um, few zombies on the way, but uh, nothing crazy. And then eventually you can uh, you can get through that locked gate.
try and avoid that the best you can, the dogs jumping on you, because um, obviously they take down a lot more health than the zombies do. But sometimes it's it's unavoidable. Um, they are a lot faster, clearly. And a lot of the time they'll jump on you. See, there's a crest there as well, guys, bear in mind. Shoot the crest. Please say I did it on this. There we go, guys. <laughs> Collect Serpent Emblems to unlock files and figures as we've gone over on the previous videos. So yeah, watch out for as many of them as you can. Won't ultimately alter the game, I don't believe, in terms of the scenario, the story along along the way. But it will obviously unlock different stuff at the main menu. You know, for all you uh, trophy hunters out there, achievement hunters. We finally reached the dog that's got the key in his mouth. I think he only took about three or four shotgun shells to take down there. So we've got the cemetery key. We now need to head back to where we were previously. Um, a bit of a folly of enemies on the way. Obviously, as you'd naturally come to expect. Just take them out the best you can and head to where the lock gate was. Okay guys, so as we go through the cemetery gate here, I'm going to wrap this video up. Hope you enjoyed it, and obviously stay tuned for the next video.